This is number 12 of our Mastering the Minis course. This is the variable star. It has, for the first time, some flying geese on the sides. Also has a nice big square in here for a fussy cut piece. I've already cut out the fussy cut piece and I'm gonna show you how to use the flying geese by four, no math ruler by Lazy Girl Designs. This makes it super easy to get these flying geese done in a hurry. The flying geese ruler uses um, a big square and four little squares. I'm using size B, which is the one by two finished flying geese. So I've already cut out my B square of my large fabric. Now I need to cut out four little squares. So I know they need to be at the B marker. I am, I want to cut this big strip of fabric. So I am simply gonna line up my ruler here. That way I can always cut away from me. And I'm gonna move this over to the side. Okay, now I can use my flying geese ruler to come in here with my B. And I don't have to worry about any math at all. No sixteenths on this one. So now I have four small squares. First thing I want to do is mark my diagonals on all four squares. And remember that this is going to give me four flying geese with a very little waist. Now I can take my big square and I'm going to place two of my little squares right on top of that big square. And I'm going to stitch down either side of this line and then I'll cut down the line. All right, I'm going to stitch down either side of my line. I'm using a scant quarter of an inch. And now I'm going to cut on my marked line. All right, I'm gonna cut this marked line and then I'm gonna press open right here on both sides of my stitches. So for both triangles here, I am gonna open them up. Now I'm gonna take those other two squares. Now I'm taking my other two squares and I am going to place them up on each one of these. I'm gonna repeat the process. I'm gonna stitch on either side and cut. Okay, I'm gonna cut down my marked line. Press open my fabric. Now it's time to trim down the geese to where I need them for my project. The finished geese need to be two and a quarter by one and three eighths. First thing I like to do is to make sure that I've got my quarter inch up here at the top of my geese. So I trim there, turn around, and now I can cut my one and three eighths. Now I need to get my two and a quarter. So I can see right here that I'm already a, a scant quarter inch. So I am gonna worry about this side first. So I am lining up in the center also with one and an eighth so I can make sure that I'm in the center of my piece. There we go. And I'm gonna do that with all four of them. All right, let's lay the block out. We have our sides here. And then this will go together just like a nine patch. And now we can just put it together like a nine patch. 
So I'm going to put this together like a nine patch. I like to start in twos, so I'm going to start with the bottom first. Now I'm going to go to the middle. And now the top. I always like to put them back in place just to make sure I have everything in order before I go for the other side. Now I'm going to press them open and we'll go for the other side. So these two pieces on my nine patch are on the outside so they're going to go out and then this one's going to go on the inside and then this, this one's going to go out. Stuck with my rule of thumb this time so that when I place this one on top of this one, the seams will nest in nice and neatly together and then we can stitch them together. So I've nested these seams nice and neat together and now I'm going to stitch the final block together. I got off a little bit here and so I'm going to rip that. I like to rip by just doing a couple of stitches at a time and then when I go on the other side I can just rip up one and it will pull right up so it doesn't take much for me to rip out a little simple thing like that. I'm glad I was paying attention. And then the final piece of our variable star. Nest those pieces together just like that. Time to iron and square it up. I like to iron from both the bottom and the top. The bottom so that I can make sure that my seams are going in the right direction. I also let the seams try to fall where they like to fall. It will make everything easier in the end. And then I can turn it over and give it another final iron. And there we go. Block number 12, our variable star.